electromagnetic induction is when you create a voltage by using a little bit of electricity and a little bit of magnetism. Now electricity is something that we are all familiar with. It provides the power uh, into our homes to power our televisions, our computers and all the other little gadgets that we use. Magnetism is a little more tricky. All magnets have a north and a south pole. This creates a magnetic field around the magnet. And if you put metal objects in this field, they will be pulled towards the magnet or pushed away from it. The earth is a giant magnet. We use the magnetic field of the earth to find our way around using a compass. If we place some compasses around a wire carrying electricity, then we can show that it too has a magnetic field around it. In fact, electricity and magnetism are very closely related. This is where the word electromagnetic comes from and is the reason why we can use magnetism to make electricity just as we can use electricity to make magnetism. We can create a voltage in a conductor in one of two ways. The first of these is if we move a conductor next to a magnet. This is how an electric guitar works. Inside the pickups of the guitar is a magnet. When you move the strings, which are a conductor, next to that magnet, you create an electrical signal that can be changed into sound. The second way that we can create a voltage in a conductor is to move a magnet next to a conductor. This is how all modern electricity is generated. The blades of the turbine are attached to a magnet. When you turn that magnet next to a wire, it creates a voltage in the wire. So electromagnetic induction is the process by which you can create electricity. I've shown you two ways in which you can do this. The first, to move a conductor next to a magnet. The second, to move a magnet next to a conductor.